Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin. I'm coming to you from Magoosh. Today we're talking about sentence correction questions and specifically we're going to focus on agreement. Agreement between pronouns and their antecedents. Does anybody remember what an antecedent is? Well, it's something that comes before. It's got the prefix anti on it. Um, so basically an antecedent is just a noun um, that the pronoun is replacing. And so in English grammar, we want our pronouns and their antecedents to agree. Um, so that means if you use a plural noun, um, you're going to need a plural pronoun. Um, one specific trap that you may find in sentence correction questions involves pronouns and antecedents and specifically um, pronouns that are possessive. So uh, before we dive right in, there is a key concept that we need to remember when dealing with sentence corrections. And it's hard to keep in our mind because our minds are really good at making sense of things, especially if um, there's not a lot of information that we've been given. We can fill in the gaps really well and we can make inferences and we're going to make sense of what we're reading regardless of what is there. And that is actually going to hurt us on the GMAT because the key concept is grammar and logic must agree. Must, must, must agree. Um, so oftentimes we can get by with just logic. We can logically figure out what the author is talking about. They leave things out. Um, and on the GMAT, they are trying to capitalize on our ability to just make sense of things and see if we can actually identify poor grammar um, or poor writing, things that you would be expected to do um, when you're a graduate student. Um, and so what this means for possessives is that possessives cannot be an antecedent to pronouns. So a possessive noun cannot be the antecedent to a pronoun. Now, this may seem strange, we go and look at uh, the wrong example. We have Tolstoy's Anna Karenina and Warren Priest brought him fame and respect, but I'd argue his staunch support of nonviolence is a better reason for remembering him. So we've got three pronouns here, all referring to a dude, but there's actually no dude in this sentence. We have Tolstoy's here at the very beginning, but this is an adjective that's describing Anna Karenina and describing War and Peace. It actually doesn't represent Tol Tol Tolstoy himself. Wow, it was hard to get out. And so this is what I mean where grammar and logic must agree because logically we know what's going on here. We understand that him, his, and him is referring to Leo Tolstoy, even though he, that form of the word is not in the sentence. And we make sense of it and we go on our day. The GMAT is going to make this 100% wrong. They do not like this and they want there to be a clear singular noun, that's a guy, as the antecedent to these pronouns. So you'd have to look for a sentence that changes the, um, or excuse me, look for an answer choice that changes the sentence so that we have actually Tolstoy in the sentence as a noun, not as an adjective um, describing the books. And so you can see here a possible answer choice or a possible correction would be Anna Karenina and War and Peace brought Tolstoy, all right, there he is, no possessive. Um, brought Tolstoy fame and respect, but I'd argue his staunch support of nonviolence is a better reason for remembering him. So now his and him have an antecedent that they can refer back to logically and grammatically. So key concept here, grammar and logic must agree uh, in sentence correction, and possessive cannot be antecedents to pronouns. All right, now you got a good fact to put in your back pocket. Take it out when you're solving sentence correction questions. 
Um, if you have any questions for us at Magoosh or anything that you want to ask me, uh, if you would like a video made on a certain topic, please put some comments down below. We'd love to hear from you so we can make these videos better and make them more useful for all the students out there watching. So, be excellent to the universe, and I will see you all next Tuesday.